When I meet people and they don't know what I do, and I say I'm a match painter, I get usually a blank look directed back at me, trying to figure out what I just said. Uh, one of the guesses is, you're a matte painter, as in <laughs> doormat. <laughs> sure, it's a noble profession. Someone has to do it, but that's, it's not me. I don't paint doormats. Another guess is, you're a map painter. Now, if I lived in the Shire in Middle Earth, this would be a great profession. Um, but um, no. But the f great thing is, is actually my youngest son has been spending the last month paint literally painting maps. So I can call him a map painter. Um, so the definition of a map painter, or actually the definition of a map painting, according to Wikipedia, is a map painting is a uh, painted representation of a landscape set or distant location that allows filmmakers to create the illusion of an environment that is not present at the film, filming location. Historically, map painters and film technicians have used various techniques to combine a matte painted image with live action footage. At its best, depending on the skill levels of the artist and technicians, the effect is seamless and creates environments that, world, that would otherwise be impossible or, I'd say, too expensive to film. In the scenes, the painting part is static and movements are integrated on it. This is a bit of an old, I'd say outdated definition of a matte painting. For one, uh, it's not necessarily a distant or it's not even necessarily a landscape. Um, <coughs> there has been instances where I've actually painted bullet holes on people. Um, so, uh, it, d the, it used to be where it would have to be something way in the back, but with the advancement of technology, um, we can do map paintings just right there, right up front, and no one, hopefully no one will know, because it says at its best, depending on the skill level of the artist, no one will know. Um, so, and then oftentimes, matte painting is just as mysterious within the film industry. Um, uh, just yesterday, meeting a new person on the elevator, coming up from our kickball game. Yes, we play kickball at work. Um, a uh, guy I hadn't met before asked me what department I'm in. That's kind of like the, you know, like the, uh, the conversation you have with somebody who, hey, what do you do? Yeah, I do this, I do that. At work, it's what department are you in? Um, and I just say Matt Painter. Currently, our map painting doesn't have an official department. So just say map painter, and uh, then usually the, the actual response was, oh, you paint the pretty pictures in the background. And so although those in the industry that aren't map painters know what a map painter is, the job title, and they kind of have an idea, like if you were to Google map paintings, and the images that would come up would be these gorgeous grand vistas and kind of cityscapes and usually always with a cool sunset and epics, this and that. Um, and that is certainly is part of it and you always try to look to get at least one of those per film, but there's a lot more to it and there's a lot more what people would consider mundane and uh, more normal things. You know, a, a blue sky with white puffy clouds also has to be creative. <laughs> Somebody has to make the mundane things also. So yes, there's the chance for the epic things, but there's also a lot of the mundane. Uh, so um, there are, and, and, you know, as I just explained also, there's a, a limited understanding of what matte painter, of what a matte painting can accomplish. Um, again, it's, it, the term has, so I think it's because the term has painting in it, the word painting, and that's a very limited thing to most people. But it's really just a term, as you'll see in a second, that's based off of the history of the technique. 